Glory be to the blessed Trinity, the Father, Son and Holy Spirit, one true God, forever and ever. Amen. In our previous podcast on prayer, we journeyed through the significance of prayer in the Orthodox tradition. Today let us focus our attention to the two different forms of worship or prayer we are familiar with, the communal worship or the corporate worship and our personal or private prayer life. Few of us might think, is it necessary to go to church to pray? Why can't I just pray at home? Few others who are very religious to Sunday worship, sacraments, liturgies, we often neglect or give least importance to our personal or private prayers. We orthodox Christians are to engage in both corporate and personal prayers which are inseparable. Our individual prayer life is balanced only with participation in the liturgical services of the church. Our church services are normally rather long and we do crib about it. Worship for us is nothing else than heaven on earth experience in the words of the church fathers. We go to church not merely to pray. We go to church to sing together, to meditate on the meaning of the faith together, to learn together and to have union and communion together with God. It is not only us who lift up our voices, but angels, saints, and even departed ones come to the Lord with prayer. Our Lord himself often prayed not only in solitude but with people too. He used to visit the Jerusalem temple, the synagogues on all important days. Therefore, our holy orthodox church, our mother, strictly commands us to attend communal worship, especially the divine services, the sacraments, the liturgies which are essential for our salvation. Prayer and the sacramental life depend on each other. The fathers of the church have used various images to help us understand the salvation of man in Christ. Saint Ephraim uses the image of the re-entry into paradise, the restoration to his former glory. The Syriac father says before his fall, Adam lived in communion with God, and like the angels, his vocation was to worship God. He was created as a liturgical being to live in doxological union with God and Christ through his passion death and resurrection has made us to re-enter paradise and has united us with the heavenly beings which is a union in the praising God in fact the goal of prayer is to return to our former glorious state Church itself is a manifestation of the kingdom of God. The foretaste of the life in the kingdom is made available in the sacraments. Our oneness in Christ, the life of the new man crucified and pneumatized is experienced in the sacramental celebrations. In the sacramental celebration, we see everything in relation to our ultimate destiny, our life with and in the presence of the triune god to have a life of prayer it is essential to have a communal worship and to participate in the sacramental life of the church i would like to end with the analogy which the desert fathers use to help us understand the significance of communal and our personal or private prayers they say if you want to construct a tall building or a structure three main elements are required a strong foundation pillars to support the structure the building and bricks to fill the gap between the pillars and to strengthen the structure 
in the same way to have a spiritual life we need to to build a spiritual life we need to have a strong foundation of prayer life we need to have the strong pillars of communal or corporate worship and the bricks which fill the gap between the pillars which strengthen the structure are our private and personal prayer life glory be to the blessed trinity the father son and holy spirit one true god forever and ever amen